How's it going, folks? So, in fishing, we like to, you know, share our catch and stuff. So, a lot of us will go out and buy action cameras to mount to our kayak or our person. Um, I got a, some new stuff that I wanted to go over. Um, and this is how I'm going to set up my filming apparatus on my, my kayak. All right. So, the first thing we got here is the GoPro chesty mount, which is just a chest strap. Now, in the past, I've had chest straps, um, but they were kind of flimsy. This one is super well built, and it's got this pad on the back that looks like it's got a lot of airflow capability. So it probably won't be as sweaty or as uh, itchy as some of the ones I've had in the past. Uh, the straps are super soft. They stretch a lot, so I feel like it would fit just about anyone. The other thing that I picked up is a um, a life jacket strap uh, mount. So this guy right here opens up and uh, you can attach it to the strap on your life jacket. Um, it did come with a little um, clip that I'm not going to end up using because it felt a little flimsy. Um, but what it would do instead of this one uh, is uh, kind of rotate um, at the base. So like if your strap was like this, you could you could rotate the mount to a more vertical position. Um, however, that's not needed because the uh, camera that I ended up getting is the uh, GoPro 11 uh, Black. Um, and if you don't know, this one has the capability to do what's called linear lock or horizon lock. And it will actually make the camera orientation always be um, you know, perfectly horizontal um, if you have it mounted that way. Um, and you don't have to worry about it being tilted to the side and your shot being tilted as well. Uh, it will perfectly align it to the horizon, which I think is really cool. Another thing I also picked up is this uh, media mount. Um, which the main thing I wanted was an external mic and all the other external marks I've seen for GoPro are pretty bulky or you have to use like a wireless application that plugs into the side so your hatch is going to be open anyways. Um, this is not perfectly waterproof um, but it does provide some protection in the event that it rains on it and stuff. And, uh, you know enough of protection in time for me to put it away in the event of a rainstorm. Uh, the other thing it has is uh, the ports are on the back now so they're not kind of hanging out to the side. So what I'm thinking is that I can put my external battery in my life jacket pocket and kind of run um, the wire up through my life jacket and it'll just sit in the back instead of being in the front where the uh, the butt of my rod or something can catch it easier. So, but yeah, that's the GoPro 11. Um, super stoked about it. Uh, it seems like it's got a lot of cool features uh, and I can't wait to try it out on the kayak. The other thing I picked up uh, is a magnetic uh, clip. I've had one of these before, and uh, they're super useful uh, because uh, the base is magnetic. You can literally stick it to stuff, and there's your mount right there, so you don't have to worry about it, you know, falling off easy or anything. I have a um, a, uh, a light bar on the back of my truck. Uh, so I can set this up and it will give me a good place to, you know, mount my GoPro so it can look in the bed of my truck if I need to do something like that. Um, the other thing it does, um, so right now it's kind of like, uh, um, the clip is in this vertical orientation, but if you twist the bottom of it, you can turn it to more, it's hard to do one handed. After some struggle, I got it. So that's more like horizontal, so you can uh, clip it that way. Um, so the clip is super strong, by the way. It's uh, probably like you know five or ten pounds of uh, spring strength. So um, I think it, it'll hold good. Not too worried about it. Um, and the other thing I got, um, which I'll probably upgrade this eventually, but this is just the uh, Yak Attack uh, swivel camera mount. Um, and it can go into an accessory rail on your kayak. And then the top of it, uh, it came with a GoPro clip, but instead I've switched it out to these um, 
these quick change uh, uh, mounts, and I'll go over those in a second. Um, but basically what this will allow me to do is to set up a, a, a forward um, mounting position for the camera so it can look back at me as I'm sitting down or um, as I'm showing a fish off or something to that extent. And it's just a quick and simple way for me to you know, mount the camera up front. Um, eventually I want to get the long arm mounts uh, so I can have a uh, over the shoulder perspective and maybe um, off to the side perspective. Uh, the uh, other thing I got was uh, this case. So um, I felt like I needed a waterproof case for my other batteries and my memory cards and any other things that I really didn't want to get wet. Uh, so I found this little guy. It um, comes with some uh, some phone cutouts in it so you can put your batteries in it. So if it's the, uh, the GoPro 11 batteries pretty nicely. And then you have uh, space for your other clips or mounts or anything else you got in there. I got the uh, door because you have to take the door off to use the media mount. So I've got that in there. And then I've got a, the uh, the mount that came with the Yak Attack arm. So um, the, uh, the Yak Attack arm, I forgot to mention, it has a uh, quarter 20 um, screw on the top right here. Uh, so you can add anything that has that, that, um, that thread sequence to it. So the, the the mount it comes with is is that kind of um, insert. Uh, the other thing it had was a, a pretty good, you know, portion over here that was dedicated for the camera. Uh, but I wanted to be able to stick it in there with the media mount, so I had to do some modifications. Um, and I might have not done the best job, but it works. Um, I do have to take the um, the foam cover off the uh, the microphone to to fit it in there snugly. Uh, without messing anything up so that is a caveat but um, it does fit everything in there just nicely um, and I'm kind of happy with the overall build quality of this is pretty stout uh, and the clips hold really well uh, and then the last little accessory uh, before I go over those uh, mounts um, this guy is a floating um, tether so it is, I think it provides like five or six pounds of, of lift. It's kind of nuts. It feels like it has a air filled rubber tube on the inside. So I think that's what most of the, the lift is coming from. Um, but yeah, this feels like a pretty stout little strap. It came, there was two in a pack. So I'm just using one for now, but it came with, um, you know, the tether and, uh, mounts. And then if you don't want to use the float strap, it did come with some normal, like, um, I guess fabric um, straps so you don't have to have this big bulky thing all the time um, and then you can just clip them out and change it um, via these little uh, uh, clips on the ends okay and the last thing um, is these little magnetic quick release mounts um, I don't know what the company is as you can see it's um, in a foreign um, typeset so uh, but I can show up the uh, the name on Amazon and the uh, the SKU number um, so you guys can find it um, but I think these things are gonna be great uh, although I do think there is one little disadvantage um, and I'll explain that in a minute um, but I think these are gonna be great because what it is is the uh, portion that you attach to your GoPro is a little magnetic mount and it goes into one of these guys and you can see there's a uh, four different directions you can face it um, but they're they are magnetic so they once they 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 seat you'll know it uh, and then once you got it all seated up you can lock it using this little ring right here uh, so I think that's going to be great for um, my current setup which is just going to be one camera uh, so I can easily move my um, camera around where I need it to go and you see there, I just pushed it in there and the magnet, the magnet did the rest. Uh, so now that is locked in there and that's not going anywhere. So um, I think this will be great for, uh, like I said, my setup where I only got one camera. Uh, so I'm looking forward to giving that a try and seeing how it works. But yeah, that's my basic GoPro setup. Um, looking forward to getting out on the water and seeing how it works this weekend. Thanks for watching.